They don't understand there's a whole other group of women that seem to just magically flow right by them that actually love men. They're like, where are those women? I never meet them. It's because you're not in alignment with meeting those women. Do you as a man truly authentically without lying to yourself, without lying to me, without just giving a reactive response, truly appreciate women? You didn't even think about what I said. You just said, mm-hmm. That's what I mean by a reactive response. Do you, in your gut, have any resentment towards women? This is a tricky thing, because guys that are typically good with women don't have nearly as much resentment or anger towards women as other guys. Guys that are really good with life, too. If you're resenting women, you're pushing them away. Just like women that resent men. Okay, how many women have you met that hate men and drop? men in their life that are crappy one after another. Have you worked through all your issues with women? A lot of guys come in here, they have a lot of resentment towards women. A lot of anger, built up this, built up that. It's not the women that's the problem, it's the women they're drawing into their life that are the problem or their projection onto the women, one of the two. Because they keep drawing these women that hate men because they hate women or that resent men because they resent women. They don't understand there's a whole other group of women that seem to just magically flow right by them that actually love men. They're like, where are those women? I never meet them. It's because you're not in alignment with meeting those women, but they're all around you. And in my own path, I used to really hate women. I used to have so much goddamn fucking anger towards women. And in my own path of healing, I'm drawing more and more interesting, fascinating, loving, sweet, I love men type women into my life. Women that are like, I just love being around men, I enjoy men, they really respect men. I never could see those women before. You draw these fun, amazing, super cool, sexual, that really like men, that, that treat you with respect, women. That changes the whole scope. Would you like to be able to fuck a lot of broken women or would you like to have a few women that are fucking badass in your life? So learning to love women is a really quick, important thing. This has to do with learning to appreciate your own masculinity, your own femininity. Because if you hate your own masculinity, you're going to assume that every woman's not gonna like you. If you hate men, you're gonna assume that every woman's not gonna like men. If you don't like sex, you're gonna push women away because you're afraid of having sex. I might get her pregnant, I might get a disease. If you don't like relationships because they feel like a prison, every time a woman gets close to you, you're gonna push her away. Or you're gonna get yourself in a inadvertently into relationships when you don't want them so you can deal with that story. And then you're like, how the fuck did I end up here again? You get the type of woman equal to who you're being. You always get outside you who you're being inside, what's going on inside you, what you're facing, what you're dealing with. This is a perpetual growing thing, of course, but there's every type of human being out there and we need to stop having a battle of the sexes. There is no battle of the sexes because for people that step out of this, they have amazing relationships and there's no battle. There's just play and fun and dance and tension and they don't see it as male, female. They just see it as them. The more women test you and push those buttons and the better you handle it, the more they, they respect you and get attracted to you. What would it be like to be the master at the art of creating sexual tension with women? To be so good that you don't even think about it. You just do it because that's who you are.